If you want to maximize the probability that you find the very best place, you should look at 37% of what's on the market, and then make an offer on the next place you see, which is better than anything that you've seen so far. Or, if you're looking for a month, take 37% of that time, 11 days, to set a standard, and then you're ready to act. The explore-exploit trade-off. You have to make a decision about whether you're going to try something new, exploring, gather some, gathering some information that you might be able to use in the future, or whether you're going to go to a place that you already know is pretty good, exploiting the information that you've already gathered so far. The explore-exploit trade-off shows up any time you have to choose between trying something new and going with something that you already know is pretty good. When you're trying to decide what restaurant to go to, the first question you should ask yourself is how much longer you're going to be in town. If you're just going to be there for a short time, then you should exploit. There's no point gathering information. Just go to a place you already know is good. But if you're going to be there for a longer time, explore. Try something new, because the information you get is something that can improve your choices in the future. If you've ever had to tidy up your wardrobe, you have to decide what things you're going to keep and what things you're going to give away. Martha Stewart turns out to have thought very hard about this, and she has some good advice. She says, ask yourself four questions. How long have I had it? Does it still function? Is it a duplicate of something that I already own? And when was the last time I wore it or used it? Knowing all of this has helped me to relax when I have to make decisions. You could take the 37% rule for finding a home as an example. There's no way that you can consider all of the options, so you have to take a chance. And even if you follow the optimal strategy, you're not guaranteed a perfect outcome. You fail most of the time, but that's the best that you can do. Ultimately, computer science can help to make us more forgiving of our own limitations. You can't control outcomes, just processes. And as long as you've used the best process, you've done the best that you can. Thank you.